Blue White Weekly, a weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics. Presented by Domino's, the world leader in pizza delivery. Optum Healthcare, they get you back to you. International Diamond Center, better selection and value guaranteed. Ford in your neighborhood Ford dealers, the best rise to the top in a smart and fuel efficient Ford. Georgia Power, a Southern company. Welcome in our first edition of Blue White Weekly, your weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics for the 2018 campaign. I'm Colin Lacey alongside Danny Waugh and a busy weekend this past weekend for Georgia Southern Athletics. Men's and women's soccer with three combined games this weekend and then Georgia Southern football opening the slate against South Carolina State. Yeah, it all started Friday, a doubleheader for men's and women's soccer. Saturday, the home opener inside Paulson Stadium and a Sunday matinee for women's soccer against Davidson. Georgia Southern football gets off to a 1-0 start against South Carolina State and a great way to get it started in the 2018 campaign under head coach Chad Lunsford. We'll get to those highlights in just a moment. But first, let's take a look back at the three soccer games this past weekend over at Eagle Field. Georgia Southern men's soccer started it off on Friday night against North Florida. It starts off with Harvey Eric Cabernell leading Adam Davey past the Osprey defense and deposits it in the back of the net for a 1-0 Eagle lead. Later in the first half, the first shot deflects off the keeper, and Davey almost has his second goal of the game, but the Osprey defender able to deflect the shot and clear it out. Onto the second half as Aldair Cortez with the crossing pass finds Javier Carbonell for his third goal of the season and gives Georgia Southern the 2-0 lead. We take another look, a perfect pass from Cortez and Carbonell wide open lane to the net. Then to cap off the night, the first shot from Georgia Southern deflects into the air and right there to head it in is Javier Carbonell with his second goal of the night and secures the 3-0 Eagle victory. Earlier in the afternoon, women's soccer took on Stetson on Friday and there you see Jocelyn Springer with the save in what would prove to be a low scoring affair. Fast forward to later in the first half and you have Alana Lutchman seeing with great defense on the Hatters for the freshman out of Sunrise, Florida. Off the throw in for Georgia Southern, Javina Hilton finds Asia Villathong, who drives in and looks for Hallie Huff, but the Hatters are able to clear it. Now pressure from Claire Amici forces a shot from the Hatters wide and keeps the game scoreless. Tyler Gordon finds a one-on-one -on -one situation, but nice save by the keeper. This time, Gordon centering the ball in the touch from Brooke Barrett to Brogan Boudreaux, but once again, the Hatters keeper scoops it to keep the Eagles off the board. Now Stetson with possession and Jordan Ross with the touch to Kate Carter for the first and only goal of the game as another angle shows perfect placement by Carter and Hatters win 1-0. Finally, our third soccer match of the weekend as women's soccer met Davidson on Sunday and getting it started off right. Frida Bradham beats the Davidson defense and gives the Eagles a 1-0 lead. Later in the first half, Davidson trying to get deep in Eagle territory but great defense by Georgia Southern and Jocelyn Springer pounces on it to keep the Wildcats off the board. A little bit later, the Eagles trying to get the ball on goal, but snatched out of the air by the Wildcats keeper. Then just minutes later, it's a Junique Rodriguez shot off the crossbar, deflects back to Marcella Montoya, and her shot sails high. Davidson with a shot on goal, but again, Springer there to make the save. That's one last push for the Eagles, but Tyler Gordon's shot stopped and the Eagles take a 1-0 victory over Davidson. A great weekend for Georgia Southern men's and women's soccer, as on the other side of the break, we'll take a look at the Georgia Southern football highlights against South Carolina State as they got off to a 1-0 start against the Bulldogs. Coming up next on the other side. There are so many fast and easy ways to make your home more energy efficient. Find tools and resources to help you save money and energy at georgiapower.com save. A sports injury can stop you in your tracks. At Optum Orthopedics, our specialized physicians and staff use advanced orthopedic procedures with one specific goal in mind, to get you back to you. If you have a sports injury, request an evaluation. Experience the Optum difference. Where Zaxby's is from. Some like it classic. Some like it saucy. For others, it's gotta be crispy. But everyone loves the flavor that brings us together. And 
whether you like it spicy or old school, you'll like it even more. Because Zaxby's five fan favorites are now just $5.99 each. Friends, family, flavor. Zaxby's. The Learfield Director's Cup. The highly recognized mark of distinction in college athletics across all divisions, both men's and women's sports. Follow your favorite team's pursuit for excellence in this prestigious annual award through thedirectorscup.com, USA Today, or at L Directors Cup on Twitter or Facebook. Learfield Directors Cup, the crowning achievement in college athletics since 1993. You have a new job now, right? I do. Yeah. It's a busy, busy place. You know usually, usually Whenever you're ready. It happens every time. I've got it. And every time do this. she wins. It's on me. All right. But you have the bb and app with Zelle. Are you texting? Oh, uh, no one. I really should go back. Thank and you. can pay the bill before she even leaves the restaurant. Beth. Ah, the taste of victory. bb and t all we see is you. There are so many fast and easy ways to make your home more energy efficient. Find tools and resources to help you save money and energy at georgiapower.com slash save. Blue White Weekly, a weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics. Presented by Optum Healthcare. They get you back to you. Georgia Power, a Southern company. Welcome back to Blue White Weekly, your weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics. The Chad Lunsford era here at Allen E. Paulson Stadium started off right. It's a victory over the South Carolina State Bulldogs as we take a look back at the highlights. Starting off with second and seven, shy word scampers for 19 yards, and what a day he had. Yeah, the redshirt sophomore from Clinton, South Carolina, had a breakout game, 162 rushing yards along with three touchdowns. The first score for Georgia Southern would come in second and goal, and Monteo Garrett bowls his way up the middle for a one-yard touchdown run. The next drive for South Carolina State, it starts off first and ten as Deshaun Cooper sacked and recovers the fumble for Georgia Southern. This is the first game of the new 3-4 defense implemented by defensive coordinator Scott Sloan, and the Eagles had two turnovers on the night. The ensuing drive for Georgia Southern, second and five, and Shy Wirtz will scamper for 23 yards in his first touchdown of the night. Wirtz did a great job leading the option offense on the field for Georgia Southern, able to fake defenders out. On to the second quarter, now third and six, and Shy Wirtz hits the ground once again, 19-yard pickup this time. Wirtz had a lot of space to work with in this game against South Carolina State and was able to get some big-time yardage. Later on in the second quarter, third and ten for South Carolina State, and Tamarcio Reese off the tip, picks up the interception, and then picks up the Sunbelt Conference Player of the Week. A great game for the senior captain for the Eagles. Ten tackles and interception, like you said, Colin, the first Sunbelt Conference Defensive Player of the Week. Later in the second quarter, a Georgia Southern drive stalls after a couple of penalties. Fourth and goal is Tyler Bass. will split the uprights with a 19-yard field goal. The Eagles were very aggressive on fourth down conversions with one for two in the first quarter. This time, they settle for the field goal. On to third quarter action now is second and eight. Wesley Kennedy, a 22-yard rush, a guy that's going to be big for Georgia Southern this year. Yeah, expect big things by the true sophomore out of Savannah, Georgia. can make people miss in space. He had a big-time run to start the third. After the 22-yard rush, it sets up first and goal for Georgia Southern, and Wesley Field will take it up the middle. South Carolina State would get on the board second and goal as Tyrese Nick for South Carolina State would scamper in for the touchdown. It was a long drive for South Carolina State in the third quarter, but they were finally able to score. Third and goal, Wirtz from 13 yards out would take it in for his second of three touchdowns on the day. This was the shy Wirtz show. Two of the three rushing touchdowns he had occurred in the fourth. Later on in the fourth quarter, it starts off first and 10, and Matt LaRoche on his first career carry picks up 33 yards. Yeah, Matt LaRoche is an, is an exciting young running back, redshirt freshman from Jacksonville, Florida. Expect more of those big time runs in this season. Once again, Shy Words caps off that drive, second and nine and 14 yards out. We'll scamper in for the score. And here is the third rushing touchdown by Shy Words. Had an incredible game to lead the Eagles to victory. A great win for Georgia Southern over South Carolina State, 37 to six, and what a way to start it off, 1-0. Yeah, a great way to kick off the 2018 season under the Chad Lunsford era. Coming up next, we'll dive into the coach's corner as we dive into women's soccer. Head coach Brian Dunleavy will be our guest on the other side of the break. What is a choir? A choir is a part of life. It's when you buy a car, a new home, or a fun family vacation. 
You acquire the things that make living better, like a great education, a beautiful wedding for your daughter, or even a piano for the grandchildren. We are the Q and Acquire, Queensboro, and we're in the business of lending for the joys of living. So when you're ready to acquire, call Q, Queensboro National Bank and Trust. It's time to pack your bags because Savannah Hilton Head International offers nonstop flights to a variety of major cities, including Nashville, Chicago, Toronto, Canada, Philadelphia, and many more. Eight airlines, 26 nonstop destinations. Savannah Hilton Head International. Visit flysav.com. Domino's, we make more than pizza. That's why we changed from Domino's Pizza to just Domino's. But no one really noticed. That's because thousands of stores still use the old logo, including mine. We're fixing that. We're updating over a thousand stores this year. Oh, goodness. That was fun. Order any of our specialty chicken, pastas, sandwiches, or stuffed cheesy bread. Choose any two, including medium two topping pizzas for just $5.99 each. Introducing the new 2018 Ford F-150 with best-in-class towing, best-in-class payload, and best-in-class torque. The F-150 lineup has the capability to get big things to big places big time. And things just got bigger. F-150 is now Motor Trend's 2018 Truck of the Year. This is the new 2018 Ford F-150. It doesn't just raise the bar, pal. It is the bar. Blue White Weekly, a weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics. Presented by International Diamond Center, better selection and value guaranteed. Presented by Ford and your Georgia neighborhood Ford dealers. Ford, go further. Welcome in Eagle Nation, our first edition of Coach's Corner here on Blue White Weekly, your weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics. Starting it off with women's soccer, joined now by sixth year head coach, Brian Dunleavy and coach you look at this season coming up for 2018 already a couple of weeks into the season what excites you most about 2018? Uh, the, we return a lot of players um, we have a lot of new players that have that have come in and shown pretty well in the first uh, few weeks here so for me the thing that's always exciting and, and always um, you know uh, optimistic about the future and what the season holds is the quality of players that we have um, the quality of kids as well, they're just a wonderful group to work with day in and day out. So the exciting thing for me is just showing up every day and, and putting my best foot forward for them because um, they are great people and, and they're really good players as well. So the exciting thing for the season is just the daily grind. When you go out on the recruiting trail, what are some of the things that you look for in a prospective student athlete trying to bring them to Georgia Southern? Well, we look at things in three ways. One is obviously, can they play soccer? You know, um, from that from that standpoint, um, the athletic ability is huge. Our league is is very physical, very tough. Um, so, what we struggled with in years past is injuries and depth. So, we, we needed to get bigger. We needed to get stronger. We needed to get faster, um, and we needed a, a lot more quality players throughout the the roster. And uh, so, we wanted quantity, but but also that quality um, was a huge factor. But uh, you know, the thing that jumps out right away with a player is, is typically the athletic ability, and, and that's what we try and go for from there. Um, but then soccer IQ and, and technical ability are also major factors as well, particularly the way that we play. We mentioned you now in year number six with this program. How have you seen this program grow from when you first got to campus until now? Yeah, so I was, I was uh, an assistant coach for two seasons prior to being the head coach and from that point in 2011 to where we are now um, it, it's grown by leaps and bounds as our athletic department has grown as well so it's been a really fun um, exciting um, entity for me to be the head coach here and a steward of this program that um, 
has the ability to influence the players and student athletes and impact their lives. But the growth of our program has been exponential. Um, the quality of players that we have now um, is of a very high level. And the culture of our program, we, you know, I didn't mention in the recruiting aspect of it, but another, another thing that we always search for are soccer first kids. And these kids are here to play soccer and get an education and become better people and students and better players. So seeing where we were in 2011 to where we are now, um, it is, it, I wouldn't say it's night and day because that would be a knock on the players at the time. That um, They certainly had their strong points, but where we are now is, is just a, a really, really strong program with, with players from top to bottom that are totally bought in. Um, and the culture of the program is at a, as an all-time high, which is really, really special. Coach, appreciate you joining us. Good luck this year. Thank you very much. Your next opportunity to catch Georgia Southern women's soccer will come up this Friday at Kennesaw as they close out non-conference play against the Owls in Kennesaw, and then they'll return home on Sunday to face Louisiana in the home conference opener here from Eagle Field. On the other side of the break, we take a look at Steve Hine and Freedom in his flight during game day. There are so many fast and easy ways to make your home more energy efficient. Find tools and resources to help you save money and energy at georgiapower.com slash save. Wow, look at Jim go. Man, that guy works hard. Courtside seats. Multitasking isn't for the faint of heart. Oh, I'm in. It takes experience, skill. Hey babe, do you have my credit card? I can't find it. Nope. I haven't seen it. I'll keep looking. And a bank that helps you take care of business from anywhere. You know, we could use more guys like Jim around here. BB&T, all we see is you. It's time to pack your bags because Savannah Hilton Head International offers nonstop flights to a variety of major cities, including Nashville, Chicago, Toronto, Canada, Philadelphia, and many more. Eight airlines, 26 nonstop destinations. Savannah Hilton Head International. Visit flysav.com. At Domino's, we make more than pizza. That's why we changed from Domino's Pizza to just Domino's, but no one really noticed. That's because thousands of stores still use the old logo, including mine. We're fixing that. We're updating over a thousand stores this year. That was fun. Order any of our specialty chicken, pastas, sandwiches, or stuffed cheesy bread. Choose any two, including medium two-topping pizzas for just $5.99 each. A sports injury can stop you in your tracks. At Optum Orthopedics, our specialized physicians and staff use advanced orthopedic procedures with one specific goal in mind, to get you back to you. If you have a sports injury, request an evaluation. Experience the Optum difference. There are so many fast and easy ways to make your home more energy efficient. Find tools and resources to help you save money and energy at georgiapower.com slash save. Blue White Weekly, a weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics. Presented by Domino's, the world leader in pizza delivery. Welcome back to Blue White Weekly, your weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics as we dive deeper into Georgia Southern Athletics and the most exciting 30 seconds in sports with Freedom's Flight. Yeah, it's been a pastime at Georgia Southern University and in Paulson Stadium for the last decade. Now we send it over to Art Berger who caught up with Steve Hine and Freedom. Steve, what does freedom mean to our fans as part of the history of Georgia Southern? What does he mean? Well, it, it, that's a great question. I'll tell you, Art, he has uh, come to be iconic and not surprising. We are Georgia Southern Eagle Nation, but to actually uh, be one of the few institutions around the country that have a live bald eagle that's present at uh, our football games, graduation, it, it, it continues to grow. And, and uh, it's really, really a special uh, opportunity to be with freedom. 
Tell me the story around freedom. How did the Wildlife Center in Georgia Southern University acquire a bald eagle? Having an eagle here at the campus of Georgia Southern goes all the way back to football. And the Eric Russell years, we had a, uh, in 1992 or 90, I believe, a bird flew over the state and they called it our mascot, except uh, I don't think it was an avid birder. It turned out to be a turkey vulture that flew over the stadium. And uh, the community, the Statesboro community, wanted to write that travesty and uh, approached me and uh, we were able to put in a request. It took us 13 years to get the right eagle, but uh, that's freedom. He's one of the few bald eagles in the country who does a live flight. And so we'll do our practice flights, and, but once the flight's done and that is, is kind of kicking off the game, we don't uh, simply return to the Wildlife Center. We then really do the heavy lifting, which is to go into the crowd and, and share freedom which actually supports the Wildlife Center. It's what we're all about, man and nature together. So I think that's what really distinguishes him from maybe some of the other Eagles is that we're in the stands, meeting and greeting the fans of Georgia Southern University. Tell us about the impact on the community, the nation. What, what impact do we have with it? Well, you know, that, that, that to me, well, there you go. He's telling you. That, that is, to me, the thing that caught me so flat-footed. I knew it would mean a lot. Uh, what I was not prepared for is that the privilege to travel with the football team all over the nation and wherever we're at, for whatever reason, uh, we're dealing with the national symbol. And it, it's, it's kind of like uh, something so iconic, uh, being a, a guard at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. The realization that I'm next to something that means so much to so many. And for that, uh, it's just a privilege I, I'm eternally thankful for. What is a choir? A choir is a part of life. It's when you buy a car, a new home, or a fun family vacation. You acquire the things that make living better, like a great education, a beautiful wedding for your daughter, or even a piano for the grandchildren. We are the Q in a choir, Queensboro, and we're in the business of lending for the joys of living. So when you're ready to acquire, call Q, Queensboro National Bank and Trust. Where Zaxby's is from. Some like it classic. Some like it saucy. For others, it's gotta be crispy. But everyone loves the flavor that brings us together. And whether you like it spicy or old school, you'll like it even more. Because Zaxby's five fan favorites are now just $5.99 each. Friends, family, flavor. Zaxby's. We are world changers. We learn by doing, and our training prepares us for direct impact in our field. We are scholars. Even as undergrads, we work alongside our faculty to solve challenges facing our region, our state, and our world. We are leaders, experts, working with business and government partners for economic growth. This is Georgia Southern University, and we are the Eagle Nation. Introducing the new 2018 Ford F-150 with best-in-class towing, best-in-class payload, and best-in-class torque. The F-150 lineup has the capability to get big things to big places big time. And things just got bigger. F-150 is now Motor Trend's 2018 Truck of the Year. This is the new 2018 Ford F-150. It doesn't just raise the bar, pal. It is the bar. Blue White Weekly, a weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics. Presented by International Diamond Center, better selection and value guaranteed. Presented by Ford and your Georgia neighborhood Ford dealers. Ford, go further.
Welcome back to Blue White Weekly, your weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics. Again, a big win for Georgia Southern football this past weekend here at Allen E. Paulson Stadium, 37-6 against the Bulldogs of South Carolina State. Russ Brown of the Georgia Southern Sports Network caught up with Coach Lunsford just moments after the game. Hey, Coach Chad Lunsford, 37-6, first of all, your, your overall thoughts on what you saw tonight start to finish from the team? Well, what I saw was a team that went out and played clean. No turnovers on offense, only two penalties. Uh, we finished in the fourth quarter with a, you know 14 points and them, them none. Uh, I saw a defense cause three turnovers. Uh, so I saw us come and play disciplined football. Um, and then you know we outrushed our opponent. We talk about that all the time. We had over 300 yards rushing. Um, maybe looking for more explosive plays from our offense. Um, I think we're still trying to gel together, all that type of thing. But I think we're going in the right direction. I like the way that they play discipline. Uh, you know, we're, we were a two and 10 football team last year and to come out and play that clean and, and uh, not make mistakes, that, that was really good. Now, obviously we got to get better from week one to week two. You know, uh, it, it, you know when you start out, uh, South Carolina State was a good football team, but as we go along, it's going to get tougher and tougher and we got to be able to make sure that we can make plays. Uh, but I, I, I'm proud of them because, uh, you, you know, after going through last year, getting a W matters. And so that's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to get one win a week. Now, the start of the second half, offense gets the ball, take it right down the field, they get a touchdown. Was there anything in particular, an adjustment, or was that just kind of a statement and guys just kind of getting their back up and saying, hey, let's go out there and punch it in? Well, we talked about it at halftime. Uh, we left some points out there on the field uh, in the first half, and we said, you know, the, the, the first, or excuse me, the second half, drive, first drive of the second half's got to be a statement, and uh, they did that. Uh, uh, another, you know, another thing that I would really like to talk about is our punt return team and our kickoff return team. Uh, those guys blocked their butts off, and Wesley Kennedy did a really good job to change the field. So, um, and, and to start the second half, he put us in great field position. So that was really a good uh, start to the second half, and 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 kind of get us rolling. And then a couple of uh, fourth down, going for it there in the first half in plus territory. It's confidence in the defense, isn't it? Oh yeah, no doubt. And, I, and I've got confidence in our offense. Uh, we've practiced all through training camp fourth down situations and, and saying, hey, we're you know we get in plus territory. I mean, we're we're trying to go get a touchdown. Uh, we got a great kicker in Tyler Bass, and I know he can it field goals. But if we get in a fourth short situation, I want our guys to have that mentality. I want our offensive line to come off the football. Well, congratulations on the win, Coach. We always appreciate the time. Good luck next week. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all. Again, that's Chad Lunsford with Russ Brown of the Georgia Southern Sports Network. A big week coming up for Georgia Southern Athletics. The UMass Minutemen 1-1 one one after falling to Boston College this past weekend. They'll come into Allen E. Paulson Stadium, 6 o'clock kickoff, along with a number of other events, Danny. Absolutely, Colin. This Friday at Eagle Field, Irk Park, the men's soccer team will take on the Eagles of Florida Gulf Coast that will be on Watch ESPN app at 7 p.m. Friday night. This has been Blue White Weekly, your weekly look inside Georgia Southern Athletics. Our thanks to everybody with the Multimedia Development Center. For Danny Wall, this is Colin Lacey. Until next week, so long, everybody.